Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday the 5th of October for local media headlines today. Cornwall's main hospitals are being put into special measures following another critical report by the Care Quality Commission. The government said the move was necessary to protect patient safety at the Royal Cornwall Hospitals Trust. It follows a long sequence of critical reports and now poses questions about the wide-ranging restructure of Cornwall's health and social care system and whether local managers will be allowed to complete that work themselves. The Cornish and Devon Post has a great story about how a woman from Egliskerry lost her mother's gold wedding ring when it slipped off her finger and into a skip at a Launceston Waste Recycling Centre. After a 30 minute search, Helen Rowe feared she'd never see it again, but after she'd given up and left the centre, one of the staff did succeed in finding it. He called Helen, who is now reunited with her mum's ring. The St Austell Voice picks up a local angle on the problems at the Two Sisters Food Group, a national company which has packing and processing factories in Cornwall. The paper says the company owns a packing factory near Roach and a beef processing plant at St Merrin. Two Sisters has been hit by the cancellation of orders from various supermarkets after a national media investigation claimed food safety records were being altered in the West Midlands. The Buden Stratton Post wonders if Morwenstow might soon get a new village shop. The paper reports that a shop might be part of a development package if plans for a new housing scheme are approved. Cornwall Live gives space to a list of spiders. And finally, the Falmouth Packet looks ahead to Penryn's annual heritage festival, the Kemenif, which celebrates local history, Cornish theatre, puppets and dance. And those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've been watching on social media, do please like and share. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.